Hello beautiful, how are you today? I have just put this little tutorial together with a one color eye makeup look. I want to show you how to do this. If you are interested in seeing how this all gets put together, then please stay watching with me. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'd love to have you as a part of my family. Give this a great big thumbs up. That will help others find this type of content on my channel. And uh, leave me a comment in this comment section below because that just lets me know that you were here and that you appreciated what I do. I love hearing from you. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, ladies, so let's jump right into it. I understand that there are some of you out there that are not necessarily um, doing a lot with makeup on a regular basis and maybe with the holidays coming, American Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's and all that jazz, you just maybe want to oomph up your, your look for those special occasions but you don't want to necessarily put a whole bunch of time and effort in because makeup really isn't your thing and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money because again makeup really isn't your thing but um so i have this little palette here and it is called profusion um naturals and there are 24 shades in this palette um i'm going to try and give you with as little glare as possible but that is a really good uh cross section of good natural colors and um I'll see if I can do that. That Well, yeah, that's a little bit better, right? <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just show you how to do one color and make it look, well, I'm, I'll, let's say fabulous. <laughs> let's hope for fabulous. And um, that will just give you that little extra spark, a little bit of shimmer for those special occasions. And you don't have to make that much of an effort but um, you end up feeling good about yourself and that's all that makeup is supposed to do give you that little extra kick in your step and um and whatever and actually i honestly really don't usually like the brushes that they include in these i keep them i don't ever throw them out but i actually don't ever really use them either so i just want to let you know that you can actually use your finger when you're doing your makeup and I am going to use the color Talented, and that is this one right here. So it's a little bit shimmery, and there's not a lot to it, so it isn't like I'm saying, go and use a red and just go because that's gonna probably look ridiculous. So what I'm gonna do, your ring finger on your hand is um, the weakest of all of your fingers and is actually the best finger to use when you're uh, applying anything to your eyes. So when it's going underneath, um, when you're applying your eye creams and whatnot underneath your eyes, that's the best finger to use because there's not a lot of strength in there. Um, that's just a quick little tip for you as well. So see, I'm just rubbing my finger in there and my hands are clean, clean, clean. So that is very important as well. And I'm just dabbing this all across my eye. I do have um, concealer on my eye already and I set it with the uh, Laura Mercier translucent setting powder as well. So if you do wanna take that step, it just makes everything um, just sit on your eye so beautifully. And look, it's already giving a really beautiful little shine and I'm going to take it right up to the very top of underneath my eyebrow and cover my eye completely. Uh, <laughs> I'll just pull it down a little bit as well because I've got those wrinkles in there. I'm over 40 by a few years. And um, so yeah, that is exactly what I'm doing. Um, there isn't really a whole lot more to that than just that. I'm gonna go ahead Finish the other eye and I will be right back. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just apply a little bit of eyeliner and this one is the L'Oreal Smoldering um, Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. And um, I really like the tip on this. It is, um, it's nice and thick so you get a good, good amount. And what I like to do is actually just 
rub it along my skin and kind of warm it up a little bit and then go ahead and apply it to my eye. Now because I am over the age of 40 and I know probably every makeup artist in the world is going to tell me and you that what I'm doing is, is wrong. However, I like the effect that comes out afterwards and I'm just going to pull my eye taut. I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that do that. If you do, leave me a a comment in the comment section below, but I'm just quickly going along the, um, just above my eye, um, eyelid, my eyelashes, and just darkening that up a little bit so that you can tell that I've got eyeliner on and that just I don't know, it just adds that little va 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 voom, right? Now, if what if you wanted to, you do not have to do this technique at all. I've got this, okay, I've got this dome shadow brush. It is from Sephora. There's no number on it, but what I'm gonna do is just take that, it's kind of like a smudge brush and just run it along. If you find that maybe this brown color that I'm using is a little bit too deep or whatever, just smudge it all along that line and soften it up and that will also kind of darken the bottom of your eye uh, eyeshadow as well. So it gives that little extra effect that you didn't really have to work very hard for. And I'm using small strokes again as well, just like I did when I did the lip liner tutorial and I will link that above for you. So if you haven't yet checked that out, please do. Um, it's a good little tutorial. I know a lot of ladies were quite happy with the information that I gave, so I hope it helps you too. And the thing that I love about brown is it's really soft. So if you don't like that starkness of uh, black, then by all means, brown is the way to go and uh, it'll just give you that nice, soft, feminine uh, look for the evening. All right, I am now going to use my Perversion uh, by Urban Decay uh, Mascara. This is the Bigger Batter Blacker. And again, I'm just gonna do my wiggle wiggle pull, wiggle wiggle pull all along my eyelashes. Now I do not, I rarely use an eyelash curler. I have been blessed, thankfully, um, with eyel uh, eyelashes that have a natural curl to them and they naturally go up. And I'm just, I'm so grateful with all of my allergies and all of my reactions and everything that I have. Um, this is one of the good things that happened in my life. So I'm grateful for that. And this is also why I like to keep a little makeup wipe at the side. That's just removing that eyeliner super quick. Now, you've got a couple of options. You can leave it just like that or take um, really super close up to the bottom lash right on your skin. Take your liner and just run it right along, right along the lash line. So now I'm going to take that little dome brush again from, um, from Sephora and buff that out just all by itself and that will darken that area up. Now, if that is too dark for you, what you can do is go back into this palette and use the exact same color, talented, dip the tip of your brush in there and go along. And that will just give that little bit of a shimmer as well, but it will diffuse or blow out that bottom area of your eye and just give it a little a little extra something something you know what I mean all right so I'm gonna take my little Clinique <laughs> lower lash mascara and run that along my lower lash all right I'm gonna finish my eyebrows off and I'm gonna use the NYX uh, micro brow pencil I actually really like this it's double-ended, so it's got the little spoolie on the one end, and then it has the, the crayon on the other end. And I think, the, oh goodness, okay, so the palette was $12.99 Canadian, and so that would make it about, I don't know, $6, $7 American. 
and um, the NYX I will look up online for you and post the, the cost on my video here but uh, this is all drugstore and um, yeah so I am just gonna do some tiny little lines I really don't have a whole lot of eyebrow and my eyebrows are the bane of my existence but I'll show you my process And all I'm doing with my eyebrows is just basically staying with the exact shape of what they already are. Um, I'm not trying to create anything extra because, well, the only thing that I am doing is just extending my eyebrows out towards my uh, nose area because they're not quite full enough. So that's, that's about the only thing extra that I'm doing. But little short strokes. So that is really it. I'm going to go ahead and finish off my bronzing, bronzing highlighter, uh, blush, all that jazz, and I'll be back to finish off this video. All right, ladies, you can absolutely stop right here and just put on a little bit of a nude um, lip gloss or lipstick. I am a lip gloss girl, so I'm always gonna be talking about that first. That is what I reach for, that's what I go for. It's my go-to, my ride or die and uh, it just keeps my lips moist and it feels really good. Now, um, of course, because your eyes are um, uh, toned down, you can go for that vibrant red, that Christmas red, the holiday red, and just wow everybody in the room, um, or a really nice dark color, or you could just do a, a simple kind of um, golden brown um, whatever. I, I think what I'm gonna do is dress this up with a red, so I will be right back. As well, I'm going to apply my eyelashes and we'll see how this goes to, to this. So, I hope this has been helpful for you ladies. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, makeup is fun. It's meant to be fun. And I hope you enjoy the process of doing all this. If you would like to see a full face tutorial, um, then please let me know in the comment section below. Or if you would like me to break it down and uh, say, okay, this is how you do contouring. Um, you know what? I'm probably going to do that anyways. But uh, let me know if you want a full face of makeup for uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, all that jazz, let me know. I'd love to do that for you. And always, 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 ladies, remember, I am enough. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you in my next upload.